Welcome to day 159 of our Big Cloud journey. I'm Ed Krasenstein here with my twin brother, Brian, and we have a special guest today, Chaff. You know him as Chaff Freaky on Big Cloud, and he's the founder of Cloud Fans. How's it going, Chaff? Good. Good to be with you guys. Yeah, so before we get to Chaff and what he's doing with Cloud Fans, I think we're going to just talk about a little bit of today's news. There was some news today, Brian. Yeah, so I guess the, the main thing that was, that took place right before we started filming this video is that whalesharp.pro began selling off creator coins in bulk. And within, I, I'd say, 45 minutes, him and it, what I assume is his secondary account, Creator, sold off about 300,000 in creator coins of other people, including us. They sold off like 20,000 of our creator coin. No big deal. We're on sale, on everybody. Our coin's on sale. Yeah, I actually see this as a positive, so, so we're not upset at all. Um, they sold off 300,000 of creator coins and other people and then he pumped it into the whale shop, where <laughs> whale shark dot pro account and uh, made his coin price go up. And he also posted a few times. He actually reclouded our posts about him selling off creator coins and so that he's, he never went anywhere and that that he's here and that he has plans, but it's just going to take some time to develop. Um, I'm sure there's some people that are mad because he's sold off your creator coin, but th that's the way the system's supposed to work. And when somebody sells your creator coin, it just means others gonna buy or others are gonna buy it at a cheaper price and you're gonna collect the founder reward again. So it's actually a positive in my mind. Um, it also for us, it some Creator had 10 of our creator coins and this is just going to diversify our cap table even more so so just look at the positive side of everything because this is how the system's supposed to work and and he it's his money he can do whatever he wants and i'd rather see him sell up all these creator coins and pump it into his own coin rather than send it off to an exchange and cash out yeah like we we're kind of like just waiting to see what he was going to do once he sold the creator coins we're like okay is he cashing out is he just going to send it to the wallet and you know sell on an exchanger and to our surprise and, you know, I, I think to a lot of people's surprise, he just put it all back into his own coin, which is really great. It means he's here for the long run and he's not going anywhere. He didn't sell your coin, did he, Shaq? Uh, no, I don't think he <laughs> owned me. Only Craig and Arts on my personal coin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, okay, so the, the, right before we get back to Shaq, I want to go over one other piece of news, and that is news of a new trends feature that appears to be coming thanks to Tijin. He posted about this. Um, it's actually in the GitHub and they are working on a, the core team's working on a new way to kind of define trends and show trends. And it's going to be using the Postgres database feature or whatever it is. Uh, I'm not technical, so maybe I said that wrong, but no, you said uh, that. <laughs> the big cloud, they're going to basically show trends related to bit cloud and the amount of bit cloud that's locked the amount of bit clout in a, in a user's balance, creator coins in circulation of that user, clout earned via founder award, clout earned via diamonds, clout earned via NFT sales, clout, clout earned via NFT royalties, and the number of coin holders. And this is all gonna be at the, at the protocol level, meaning that any node will be able to pick this up and show these trends. So I think that's a really good improvement. Um, I know some of, the, some of the trends that they're pulling from from uh, what is it, the big cloud pulse? Is it uh, they're not functioning correctly? The diamonds I know aren't. So, so I, I look forward to this. It's still going to be probably several weeks before we see this live, but uh, it's definitely an improvement that I like to see. Yeah, definitely. I'm I'm excited. You know, more more data for people to see. But I, th I think now we can shift over to Chaff and talk about what he's doing. Yeah, sure. Um, hey guys. Uh, so cloud fans, I. I've started with the idea over six months ago now with a single DM actually from a No Face girl, which is quite known on BitCloud. She was like, hey, I wish there was a platform that would cater to adult creators on BitCloud because it just makes sense to have something around top of the social network, especially decentralized one. I was like, hey, that's a great idea. Let me see what I can do. And that's where my adventure started. Uh, not that I'm not familiar with this space already. I have some really close friends who generate their main income from uh, OnlyFans and other similar platforms. But then after some research, I realized there was no big platform catering to the crypto space for adult creators, right? Especially to allow them to not only own their brand, but make sure that they are secure in the way that they earn their income. 
and that's where CloudFast came about. Uh, we launched, we did a soft launch with some uh, very few creators a few weeks ago. They're testing the platform and coming back to me with some feedback. Uh, and we actually moved past the product only phase and completely incorporated in the UK as a natural company. So we can kind of grow this uh, even further and integrate more cryptocurrency than just BitCap. Yeah, that's a that is a great idea because we all know that that um, that uh, what is it open? Oh, one of my one of my only fans, <laughs> only fans, <laughs> only fans. I'm sorry about that. Only fans has been having issues with credit card processors, and they threatened yeah. to take away take away the ability for adult adult stars to kind of have an account there and have any nudity or anything like that. So I think that this is actually something that kind of kind of allows BitCloud to excel because of the fact that it's not censored and that if if you want to create an OnlyFans like site for adult content, you can do that and, and nobody can stop you because you're gonna be they're gonna be paying in clout and the clout coin is, isn't regulated. Uh, you don't have big companies that have to yeah you have to answer to and I think this is like the perfect fit for BitCloud. And it doesn't have to just be adult content. It can be any kind of content, but the fact that it's not going to be censored is important. So, so, I, so I have a question for you, Chad. Yeah. How is, how is the monetization method going to work? If somebody, is it going to be similar to OnlyFans where you can subscribe and every month you pay a fee? Or is it going to be, yeah. have, be more tied into buying the creator coin of the person you want to subscribe to? So... Uh, as of now, we're going to allow three different ways for people to monetize. The first one is the BitCloud uh, kind of native one, which is holding a person's coin, right? Which is live as of today and it's been live for a few weeks. Second one is allowing people to pay tips on posts in the platform. So either to unlock a post or to just show appreciation the same way diamonds work. And the third one is indeed subscriptions. So we're going to allow subscriptions for using cryptocurrencies starting with the cloud. And we, since we know we can't, actually have any recurring payment system in BitCloud will be based on you know a one-time payment for a specific amount of time. And then if you want to renew it, we might provide some discounts or allow you to renew based on your wallet balance, et cetera. So, so there's no actual way to automate payments, I guess. There's... Uh, as of now, no. It would require a massive trust system of a single platform that would have access to people's wallet to be able to withdraw for specific amounts. I'm not saying it's not possible. It should the community hasn't built it yet. And if no one does, maybe that fans might. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I guess you could, you know, do something where you fund your your Cloud fans account with a certain amount of money and you could take the reoccurring payment out of that funded portion. Ex exactly. That's exactly the route we're gonna take. And it's a route that many other SaaS platforms out there who are not adult focused at all have taken as well. Like a, a, a cloud fan centric wallet you can fund and then when you take payments from there, you can also withdraw from it. So, so do you, do you have any any like top influencers who are really yeah. interested? So, so we have the uh, Jane LeCook. I don't know if you know you know about her. She's a yeah. favorable model who joined. She is eagerly waiting for the tips tips feature to be released any day now to be able to promote it so massively. She already started posting on Cloud Fans. There's also No Face Girl, obviously, who joined. She was uh, her uh, her nudge that first got me started into this. And the um, Madam Fetish, which is also quite uh, active on the cloud. Uh, and to be honest, I am uh, still dealing with some uh, procedures and, and, and kind of kinks on the platform to be able to promote it a bit more massively because the referral system would work greatly in terms of having people onboard other people if they can take a cut of their revenue. Sounds that would be awesome. Yeah, yeah. So, what, like, what's your background? Like, what's your background before Cloud <laughs> So, uh, I come from the uh, uh, SaaS space. So I used to, I founded a marketing automation platform for gyms in UK Studio, co-founded, sorry. I was the CTO. Uh, it worked well. We used, used worldwide by many, many gyms across the planet. Uh, and we ended up exiting right before COVID. We got really lucky uh, to a PE firm. Um, and then since then, you know, I, CloudFans is in my sole focus. I have another platform on the side that is completely unrelated in the CRM space. And my, yeah, that's my, that's my background, SaaS platforms and massive automation platforms. 
I'm glad I, I, I'm glad you had a good answer to that question because I didn't ask you that before we started recording. That's all right. It wasn't like I escaped from prison and decided <laughs> I was going <laughs> to. Yeah, I actually, I, I'm the one who got only fans into trouble with banks and their chargebacks and I just decided to launch a competitor. <laughs> <laughs> So it's so like, like, what's your vision? Like, like, where do you see this headed? Um, or do you feel that you're being held back at all because BitCloud is so new and it's, it, it hasn't, it hasn't progressed yet to uh, take a mainstream, mainstream area? So, I mean, there is a massive hurdle, right? When it comes to onboarding, uh, it's really hard to not only teach people about crypto, but teaching them about crypto and BitCloud and then bringing them to OnlyFans, there's three different massive walls to climb for somebody to even come on the platform, right? So that's our, that's our biggest focus right now, especially when it comes to simplifying that into something completely transparent for the user. Sometimes you don't need to know what's happening in the background, right? Until later on. Let's just create an account, let's just get you moving, get you earning some money, and then you can learn about what's happening in the background afterwards. And that's our single main focus. And I believe that'll be the focus of most platforms that are on top of BitCloud, right? How do you make onboarding so simple that people don't even know it's a crypto-based decentralized social media? Exactly. So, so have you had any talks with Diamond Hands or any of the core developers about <laughs> this project? Uh, not about this project. I mean, I, I have contributed quite a lot to the to the GitHub repos. Uh, so I do talk to maybe whenever I need some help with something. Uh, Diamond Hands directly, no. I, I'm in talks with someone who is also an investor in the project who is directly connected to him. And he, he tells me what I need to know. And that's about it. <laughs> a, a lot of the developers. A lot of the developers I've spoken to um, over the last, I guess, month or so, uh, their biggest thing is needing the security that they want to have security of whether it's funding so that they can continue doing work. I, I think they see they see this as a great great project. They see BitCloud as something that's could definitely go mainstream in the future, but at the same time, they see they see a platform that isn't huge yet. So. If they're spending all this time developing on top of it, and they're taking months to develop something, is some especially some of these groups that have a team of maybe three or four people, they they find it tough to continue continue developing as a platform kind of remains steady and isn't exploding. So, do you see the same thing? Like, do you see like need the need for incentive for developers, maybe a developer fund or something that can help fund developers as this platform grows? I do, and I agree. Uh, where we posted down with God, I completely agree that there is a need for developer fund, uh, specifically for you know, incentivizing contributions to the core project, right? And even other uh, satellite projects around it. Uh, the reason I'm not really worried about it when it comes to cloud funds is because cloud won't be my only and sole focus uh, down the line. I'm also, I'm lucky enough that I can self-fund this company, uh, which means that I can look, you know, in a longer term uh, timeline. So if BitCloud is not, you know, exploding the next year or so, that's okay. Because it just gives me a year or so to really solidify cloud funds in like other crypto currencies. Yeah, that, that's a good way of looking at it. And, and, yeah. and I, I think that it, like you, you're working on several projects. So, so you don't have to have this project take off in order to kind yeah. of be, be secure in your life, you know? Yeah, which and is why I think the, the fund which is why I really think the fund's important because like a lot of people have contributed so much with no direct incentive, right? So if there is incentive on top, I can only imagine what the community would come up with. Right. So, so I guess before we close things out, um, what, what would you tell people looking that are on OnlyFans who are looking to, towards maybe cloud fans? Like, like what, what's an added incentive? Like what, why should they come over to cloud fans and, uh, what do you see for the future of cloud fans? Well, I mean, the simple and straightforward answer is that there is no way for a platform like cloud fans to stop you from doing the work that you're doing. Uh, literally no way to take your money back either because it's cryptocurrencies. You own it your, your yourself. There's no chargebacks, which is exactly what OnlyFans is so worried about and what caused this entire backlash. Uh, and so it's a pretty safe platform and we're trying to make it even safer by only allowing really verified creators that we don't have any issues with authorities or anything like that. Uh, so the only thing I'd say is that it might be time to try a crypto-based adult platform instead of going the route with payment processors and banks and OnlyFans. Yeah, I mean, it all makes sense. It all adds up, I think. Uh, any closing words uh, before we close this out? Uh, just that I love your videos, guys, and I've been watching them for a while. 
I can't uh, check out cloud fans. I, I, I do have one final question. So are you going to do anything about onboarding? Like, so say somebody comes to your website, say, say they see no face girl, no face girl, and yeah. they want to subscribe to her, to her channel and, you know, see her new photos. How, how do they go about doing it? Do they have to go to BitCloud first up to bitcloud.com first to sign up to an account or can they get onboarded through your, through your website? So today they'd have, they can, they can sign up on CloudFans and create a BitCloud account from CloudFans, right? Because we just use a BitCloud identity to connect to your BitCloud account. So you can just create one on the spot. But yes, you're right in the sense that they do have to go to bitcloud.com, buy no face girls coin, and then go back in CloudFans be able to view it. This is all the steps that we're looking to completely remove down the line where you'd land on her page and click subscribe and pay in Ethereum and that's it. Or clouds or you know, that's maybe awesome. you just buy her coin directly from there. Yeah. All right. Well, th thanks again, Chef. And I, I think you know, we learned a lot about cloud fans and what the future holds for it. I'm I'm looking forward to seeing it being developed and see you mark start marketing it. And, I want to see some, you know, like No Face Girl and Madam Fetish and some of the other individuals get onto the platform and see how that works. I'm, I'm really excited about that. Thank you, guys. Thanks again.